on the sense of taste. Thank you. I'm surprised that um, there isn't a beeline for the washroom. This is turning out to be a very formal academic conference. That is not what we are supposed to be. We are supposed to talk about the senses. The senses will battle, not us. <laughs> <laughs> that should stop you from going to the washroom. <laughs> now, sense of taste. How did we get these senses assigned? Lottery. There's a kind of sixth sense behind lottery. Chance. The world is ruled by chance. Anyway, but I'm happy to uh, be a champion of taste. The sense of senses. In fact, the sense of taste is only, some say, 20% taste. They say it's 80% smell. According to some, it's three-fifths smell, one-fifth sight, touch, and only one-fifth actual taste. So, should I sit down? Will you say that I don't have the right to speak? No. Because the senses are interrelated. They work in harmony. We have synesthesia. And when we realize that we will not, we'll become more liberal, open-minded, we'll not be restricted in our vision. Baudelaire has a marvelous poem called Type of Correspondences. I'd like to read out a few lines in Richard Howard's wonderful translation. The sounds, the scents, the colors correspond. There are odors succulent as young flesh, sweet as fruits and green as any grass, while others, rich, corrupt, and masterful, full, possess the power of such infinite things as incense, amber, benjamin, and musk, to praise the sense, senses, raptures, and the minds. In other words, when we don't think in terms of isolated senses, but the senses interacting, intermingling, we realize we become bigger. Our world expands, our minds expand. We transcend our limitations and uh, we become richer human beings. Now, so, um, where does taste come in here? Taste is the sense of senses. First, because, let me start at an abstract level. In the evolution of modernity, we have the emergence of new epistemic formations, political science, Machiavelli, this is what I'm talking about Western history. You have aesthetics. They happened at about the same time. Aesthetics began with taste. 
the theorists of taste were reacting against the rationalism fathered by Descartes. In, if you are a rationalist, you reason things out. If you say it is beautiful, you say, ah, it is beautiful because it satisfies these criteria of beauty. You see, the proportions are like this, etc., etc. But the theorists of taste pointed out that no, you see at a glance, you see at once that some, something or somebody is beautiful. It is your taste which tells you that that object is beautiful. And from this concept of taste came the modern discipline of aesthetics. And aesthetics, the importance of aesthetics in the modern world cannot be exaggerated. As Nietzsche said, it is only as aesthetic phenomenon that life can be justified. So we owe a lot to taste as this abstract concept. You, know, you can say, well, this is not the taste that we are experiencing now. No, but they are related. Because the taste that we experience in here with our taste buds in the mouth is also immediate. Just as you encounter when you see a beautiful painting and say it's lovely, in the same way you taste something and you say it's delicious or disgusting, whatever. So there are lots of studies nowadays. I'll not go into those. Like there's a book called Making Sense of Taste. Food and Philosophy by Carolyn Korsmeyer. I would advise you not to read it. <laughs> Instead, cultivate your taste. Now, what about the non-abstract, the absolutely physical, the brute reality of taste? Well, our development begins with taste. Look up a primer of psychoanalysis. See, the first stage of our development is the oral stage. <laughs> then you move on to the anal sadistic and etc. And even the government of Bangladesh is very aware of it. I don't know if you receive emails from the government. I do. If you haven't received it, I'll gladly forward it to you. Matri Dukthopan Tekshoi Korte Ashun Oikobotta 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 First to 7th August 2017. Health Services Division. Okay. That's more reality for you. Okay? No. So it is basic, and that is why it is the sense of sense. And it is not only the, uh, in Western uh, sort of uh, philosophy that you have this concept of taste. We got, you know, came out, uh, came out, uh, came up with this centuries back. I mean, if you think of uh, Eastern West, I mean, we can claim to be ahead of them in many by many centuries. Uh, we say Machiavelli is the first political scientist. You see, and that inaugurates one aspect of modernity. Well, there was a quote in those Otto Shastro many centuries before that. You have uh, Western erotics, we have the Kama Sutra which goes back many centuries. 
You, they have the theory of taste. What about our aesthetics? It's all based on taste. Ras, rosh. <laughs> you know, let me just uh, read a bit from that. You know, in Rasa theory, you have the aim, <coughs> the, what happens when you experience art? The audience experience the relish, the ashan, rosh ashan, and through that you experience the different palms, the style palms. So we are familiar with the importance of taste in the art culture. In our system of medicine, Ayurved, you have these, um, you know, dosha, vata, pitta, kapha. And good health depends on the balance of, between these. And balance, the balance has to be maintained by eating the right kind of food. So, if you, if you look up any work on Ayurved, uh, on the Ayurvedic system, it's all about taste. Eat this, a bit of that, you see, and the balance will be restored. You'll lead a happier life. And in literature, the sense of taste, I don't want to sort of go on too much. You know, the, perhaps the greatest modernist novel is Proust's other research topic, the top page two, in search of lost time. He could write it because of the sense of taste. One day he ate a cake called the Madeleine in French, and it brought back this flood of memories of his childhood, and he started writing. I was very curious about the Madeleine. Finally, I found a jar of Madeleine in a sh shop in San Diego, California, and I said, I must have it. It's a very ordinary thing. But it's very extraordinary because of the associations. So taste is associated with memory. Um, so uh, the other senses. And without this, we cannot really be human. I'd like to end with just a bit uh, of poetry to underscore the importance of the sense of taste. They both, sort of, in a sense, love poems about the poems. I remember your nipples, like vitamin E capsules, <laughs> promising rejuvenation. My tongue dreams your saliva. A short poem titled Drink to me only with thine eyes. This, this comes from Ben Johnson. That's the aperitif in love's feast. Lips for hors d'oeuvre. The entree is eaten with single chopstick. For dessert, pectoral cookies topped by sweet raisins. Then cheeses, your right armpits stilton. <laughs> the left, gorgonzola. And I slide down for a drop of liqueur. <laughs> you see? Just one little clip. Casablanca. Everybody's favorite love story. And remember at the end, he's, he's with Humphrey uh, uh, Bogart with Ingmar uh, Bergman and says, here's looking to you, sorry, here's looking at you, Kerry. That's all he can do because she has to leave, they can't, you see, carry on. Here's, here's looking at you, Kerry. 
if they didn't have to part, he would have said, you look good enough to eat. 